All right, you are welcome again. Today, we want to solve homogeneous differential equations. We want to see how to solve homogeneous differential equations. Now, let's take a look at this question. Solve the differential equation x squared minus y squared in bracket dx is equal to minus 2xy dy okay now we are asked to solve this equation let's see how we're going to approach this question now let's go as it is let's divide both sides by dx let's divide both sides by dx you know we have x squared minus y squared dx plus 2xy dy equal to zero right so when we divide both sides by the x we are going to have x squared minus y squared plus 2xy dy dx equal to zero hello equal to what zero now let's call this equation one now when we have a homogeneous differential equation how does it look like homogeneous differential equation how does it look like we say that for a differential equation to be called homogeneous it should be in this form p plus q dy dx equal to zero where p and q are homogeneous function of the same degree in x and y hello now we say when we have a differential equation in this form p plus q dy dx equal to zero and p and q they are homogeneous function of the same degree in x and y then we say that the differential equation is called homogeneous differential equation and it can be solved using its own approach okay now let's see how we are going to do this now since we see that this equation this equation one is homogeneous and it is in this function p plus q dy dx equal to zero we can see that it is the same form right good so what do we say that our p is we say that p is equal to x squared minus y squared is that true yes and then we say that we have q is equal to 2xy all right good now let's go we are going to say let y equal to vx that means in equation one anywhere we see y we are going to replace it with vx hello but wait first let's differentiate this y with respect to x that means we're going to have dy dx equal to so when we differentiate vx with respect to x we're going to have v plus x dv all over dx so let's also call this equation three so this y equal to vx we call it equation two okay good now let's go back to our equation one our equation one we say x squared minus y squared in bracket plus 2xy dy dx equal to zero and then in this place now we have equation two and equation three so we are going to substitute equation two and three into equation one hello so that means in equation one Anyway, we see y, we replace it with vx. And in the place of dy dx, we replace it with v plus x dv dx. All right? Good. Now, replacing it, we are going to have x squared minus, in place of y, where we have y squared, we are going to replace it with vx in bracket squared plus we have 2xy in place of y we have vx now dy dx in place of dy dx we replace it with v plus x dv dx 
close the bracket equal to zero all right good now let's open this bracket we have x squared minus this vx in bracket squared is the same as v squared x squared then we have plus here we have 2x open bracket vx when we multiply this it's going to give us 2x squared v then in the bracket we have v plus x dv dx is that true yes now let's still open this bracket too so that means we're going to have x squared minus v squared x squared plus 2x squared v when we say 2x squared v multiply by v inside the brackets is going to give us 2x squared v squared and then the same 2x squared v multiply by x dv dx is going to give us 2x cubed v dv dx then we have equal to zero now when you look at this closely you see that we have minus v squared x squared and then we have plus 2x squared v squared you see that these two they are the same thing hello these two they are what they are the same thing so here we have minus v squared x squared plus 2x squared v squared so it's the same as saying minus 1 plus 2 all right so when you say minus v squared x squared plus 2x squared v squared is going to give us v squared x squared all right because it's the same all right good so yeah that means we have x squared plus v squared x squared plus 2x cubed v dv dx equal to zero now in the first and second term we have x squared x squared let's factor out x squared when we factor out x squared in x squared we're going to be left with one and we'll factor out x squared in v squared x squared we're going to be left with v squared so let's put these two in bracket that means we're going to have one plus v squared in bracket x squared hello because when you use this x squared and open this bracket it's going to give you the same as the above then we have plus 2x cubed v dv dx equal to zero all right yes so from this place we are going to separate the variables so that we can solve this okay so separating the variable the first thing we are going to do we are going to multiply through by the x we are going to multiply through by the x that means we're going to have one plus v squared in bracket x squared dx plus 2s cubed v dv equal to zero so that is when you multiply both sides by dx okay so you know this dx we cancel right good now as it is like this we want to remove x cube from this place that we have dv we want to remove x cube and then in this place where we have dx we want to remove one plus v squared so that we have dx and everything that concerns x you get it right so in the side of dv we want to remove x cube and in the side of dx we want to remove one plus v squared okay so that means we are going to divide through by one plus v squared in bracket s cube okay so when we divide through that is when we separate the variable very well okay so now let's go when we do so we're going to have one plus v squared in bracket s squared dx all over one plus v squared in bracket s cube plus two x cube v dv all over one plus v squared x cube okay now in the left hand side one plus v squared we cancel one plus v squared and then we are going to be left with x squared all over s cube right so the x squared we cancel one of the x squared under so that is going to have the x all over x okay now in the right hand side s cube we cancel s cube we're going to be left with 2v dv all over 1 plus v squared okay so after the cancellation we are left with dx all over x plus 2v dv 
all over 1 plus v squared equal to 0. So we have succeeded in separating the variables. All right. So let's integrate. Okay. So when we integrate, we are going to have the integral of the x all over x plus the integral of 2v dv all over 1 plus v squared equal to 0. So when we integrate, you know, it's the same as saying the integral of 1 all over x dx. All right. In the first side, it's the same as the integral of 1 over x dx and then in the other side we say plus the integral of 2v all over 1 plus v squared dv all right so when we integrate 1 over x dx it's going to give us a lin x and when we integrate uh, 2v all over 1 plus v squared dv is going to give us lin 1 plus v squared hello using substitution okay integration by substitution is going to give you ln 1 plus v squared in bracket plus c equal to zero all right good now let's take the natural logarithm on both sides that means we're going to say exponents okay i'm going to say exponential right so we'll say the exponent e raised to power ln x plus e raised to power ln 1 plus v squared plus we have e raised to power c okay so in the first side the e we cancel the ln we are going to be left with x likewise in the center we are going to be left with 1 plus v squared and then we have e raised to power c all right good now after this, we have x plus 1 plus v squared plus e raised to the power c equal to 0, right? But we say that y is equal to vx. Hello? But we say that y is equal to vx. Now, uh, making v the subject, we're going to see that v is equal to y all over x. Hello? When you make v the subject, we're going to see that v is equal to y all over x so in place of v we replace it with y all over x so we replace we're going to have x plus we have one plus uh, in place of v square we have y all over x in bracket squared plus e raised to power c equal to zero all right good now here uh here we have y all over x in bracket squared let's distribute the squared in the bracket then it's going to have y squared all over x squared right let's take x plus one to the other side and then e raised to power c to the other side so we are going to have y squared all over x squared equal to minus x minus one minus e raised to power c all right so let's multiply both sides by x raised to power 2 so when we multiply both sides by x raised to power 2 we are going to have y squared is equal to x squared over bracket minus x minus 1 minus e raised to power c okay so here now when you multiply the bracket with x squared you are going to have minus s cube minus x squared minus x squared e raised to power c all right so we say let a be called e raised to power c let this e raised to power c be called the letter a okay so when we replace it that means we're going to have y squared is equal to minus open bracket s cube plus x squared plus a x squared all right yes this is the solution to the differential equation x squared minus y squared dx equal to minus 2xy dy all right yes thank you very much for watching let's take more examples stay blessed